Tonight we can show you for the first time the New Zealand Navy frigate Tekaha test firing a missile worth almost a million dollars off the coast of Hawaii. It happened during an international war games exercise. US correspondent Jack Tame reports from Honolulu. $800,000. Gone. For us, obviously, this was uh, a pretty big deal, certainly for the ship's perspective. 280 kilometres from Honolulu, the HMNZ Tekaha was stationed on a special US Navy firing range with a rare chance to test the ship's most powerful weapon. Command All up, it takes three hours. A flying remote control target is released 60 kilometres away. Takaha uses radar to track the target, then a Sea Sparrow homing missile to intercept it. We know what you're thinking, where's the button and who's the guy that gets to push it? Sparrow away, Sparrow, one three. That would be electronics technician yeah, Hayden Lynn. He kind, of, uh, he kind of takes it personally. Uh, he's the, he is, if you like, the interface with the system and we all kind of look to him. Well, eight, one, four, L.E.T. Zero. Lynn's team finds the target, then locks on to intercept it. The majority of the 22 RIMPAC nations will participate in weapons testing. Many of the ships docked in Pearl Harbour have significantly bigger armaments than New Zealand frigates. And over the next few days, all manner of missiles and torpedoes will be test fired. Still, for Takaha's turn on the range, everything seemed to go right. Uh, the missile was, uh, was fired, um, gathered nicely into the control beam of, uh, of the controlling radar uh, and proceeded towards the target. And forget Christmas, One radar track eight zero off the one Hawaiian one coast, one Hayden three. Lynn had all his guy forks come at once. Jack Tame, One News, Honolulu, Hawaii.